So I'm Jordan Verto and I'm a developer at SmartPy. I'm working uh, on Tezos uh, since uh, a bit more than uh, one year. So at SmartPy, uh, I started uh, developing uh, smart contracts. The more I'm working at the SmartPy, the more I understand about uh, the world uh, development. Working on Tezos is uh, really uh, great because you have a very good community. If you ask something to someone, it will uh, answer and then come back to you again and uh, ask you if you understood everything. Also at SmartPy, we also do these kind of things. Uh, we answer uh, like daily to users and it's a really interesting interaction uh, with people. So I think it's one of the best things uh, on Tezos. SmartPy is uh, really good in terms of uh, technology. I'm learning a lot of uh, different things and uh, we are an important part of the decentralized uh, application uh, development. So a smart contract is uh, an application like you would have on your phone, but it runs on a decentralized uh, manner on uh, the top of a blockchain. So this allows it to have a really trustless a system we can run the, without uh, any central authority. So you can uh, create a vote system, you can create authentication system, um, and rely on a, a network uh, and not on a one person in particular. The topmost application of smart contracts today is uh, NFTs. It's also decentralized finance, but in the future it can uh, go more to, into voting. Uh, also, the current money we use is uh, uh, about to, to be able to decentralize uh, a lot more, so it will give us a lot of more service and uh, things to do uh, with our money uh, uh, rapidly uh, and securely. NFTs uh, allows a lot of artists from the digital world to sell their art directly to people so they can work by themselves instead of uh, working for a museum or a filmmaker for example. Before you couldn't uh, do, uh, you wouldn't be able to sell uh, your art to people uh, if it's digital because anyone can copy it and with NFT uh, you have this uh, proof of the owner so you can sell it and you can work by yourself and uh, develop your ideas. That's the same revolution uh, we had in the Renaissance for the painting, uh, except here everyone can buy uh, the, the art, uh, so that's uh, really cool, I think. One of the most interesting thing uh, I saw with smart contracts is uh, interaction with art. Uh, as an example, uh, I'll present later today a contract where NFTs can only be shown at night, so it's called uh, Dracula NFTs. It's an example, but it's uh, an idea of what we can do with uh, this kind of things. It was really important for me to work on a blockchain that is energy efficient. It's in my mindset and I would never work on a blockchain that is not energy efficient. That's what prevented me from working on blockchains until Tezos. I saw artists that were about to leave blockchain system when they understood the echo problem and then they discover Tezos and they stop building on it because it's solving the problem we just saw and it makes a new platform uh, launch uh, like uh, Ikatnunk at the start of Tezos. It was very important for a lot of artists because it's eco-friendly. I think uh, blockchain can change the world in the way we see things so we will not only uh, use infrastructures that are decentralized but think more decentralized in the whole activity uh, we are doing uh, and it's inspiring uh, really outside of the informatic uh, field.